Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse for CTN's live coverage of girls' high school volleyball. Tonight, the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the Maple Grove Crimson in a Northwest Suburban Conference match. Joey on Howie Shapiro, center court for tonight's action, and Howie, our first opportunity to see volleyball in the 2014 season. Yeah, and this is a very young Coon Rapids squad facing a, a very good squad in Maple Grove, and, and I uh, talked to Coach Sco uh, Scott Arcan before this match, and yeah, so this is going to be a test, you know, this game, and, and then they play Elk River as well on Thursday. So that also will be a test for this young team. And now you <laughs> There's head coach Sean Haugen. It's his second season as head coach at Maple Grove. I believe his sixth in the program. Scott Arcand on the other side, his third season with the Cardinals talking to him at preview time. He said, we feel we're kind of ahead of schedule development wise in a three, the third year of a five year plan. Well, you know, just the one win so far on the season, but you know, he felt that when we talked about last night on sports night that he felt that this team is making some strides, even though you may not see it in terms of the scores, he feels they're making strides here as this season continues on. There's a look at your starters for the Crimson. The setter is Paige Aspinwall. The outside hitters, Haley Valencia and Paige Hinsey. In the middle, Lauren Bright and Alexa Otto. And Laura Brixius fills out the lineup. For Coon Rapids, a couple outside hitters, Hannah Gonzala and Jessica Hegg. Carly Britton, Tia Yost are setters. Ali Hitsey and Maddie Schweitzer in the middle to start the rotation for Coon Rapids. The Maple Grove Crimson, only one blemish on their season. They, they lost a, a match to Osseo in three. And Osseo, I believe, number eight in the state coming in. And, and uh, Coach Haugen told me that you know his squad was in that game all the way. And they had they had an opportunity actually to, to win at least a, a couple of those games, but couldn't uh, get past that 20 mark. Well, the Cardinals, as we've talked about for years, have gone through a, a fair few coaches before finding Coach Scott Arcan. His assistant, Tim McLean, has been with the program since its heyday, but yeah. stepped down years and years ago. Yes, he has, and, and you know, that's certainly a, a, a great addition to your coaching staff. But as you mentioned, uh, Coach, Coach Arcan has a five-year plan that he's developing here, and, and uh, you know, he's looking to put some pieces in place to, uh, to bring this squad, this uh, team back in the volleyball Reputation in the Northwest Suburban. The Carlson House starting to rock. Maple Grove will have the first serve. Paige Aspinwall awaiting first whistle. Now, Coach, Coach Hawkins, basically, he told me the things that they need to do. His keys are, are just solid passing, good blocking, and, and really strong defense. And we'll see as this uh, game unfolds. Our, obviously, as you mentioned, our first opportunity to see the Cardinals and certainly the Crimson. And with the whistle, we are underway. Aspinwall serves it to the back, picked up. Hag just pushes it over, a diving save on the far side by Aspinwall. Set up Hag again, Touched but the net, I believe. Stepping over the yep, line stepping underneath. Stepping over the line. Yep. And point one goes to Maple Grove. And I think the biggest key for Coon Rapids here is just try and keep the score close, stay within a few points if they possibly can. Hag attacking on the left side again, picked up by Hinzi. They'll come back with the Valencia, and she gets the kill. Crimson starting to roll early. And we've talked about it too many times to count. It's about streaks in the game of volleyball, yes. especially since they went to rally scoring. Well, and that was one of the things Coach Haugen told me against Osseo is that they couldn't deal with their runs, and, and Osseo just did a better job of gaining momentum and getting those runs. Three points to start off the serve by Aspen Wall. Cardinals attack right side. The block is there. 
Set up Hag again. She fires it over, picked up near the back line, and the attack coming right side from Britsius. She'll get it through the defense, and it's 4-0. In favor of Maple Grove. Oh, Laura Brixius did a nice job. I mean, she didn't have to, uh, she used to use a little English and just tapped it over the net and found that spot on the floor. You see there over that extended front line of Coon Rapids. That one caught Boyum by surprise a little bit, rolled up on her. It'll be an ace for Aspinwall and a 5 0 lead. Hag picks it up, she'll attack again from the left side. This time she's successful. Good Rampant's on the board and stopping that five point rally. Well, Hag, Hag, set. Yeah, Hag definitely is, is the, uh, the gun up front for Coon Rapids. They're trying to make some changes you see there. Maria Hennon in to serve. I wonder if any relation to Neil Hennon. Highlights. Yeah. Crimson attacking with Brixius again. Cardinals can't pick it up. And it's ball right back to Maple Grove. Now you want to be able to control serve as much as possible. Just the one opportunity for Coon Rapids here. 6-1 in favor of the Crimson here in game one. And now Haley Valencia to serve for Maple Grove. Oh. Let it go. It's right at the back line. Wow. And his second ace of the match for Maple Grove. Boy, that was right on the back part of the line. Looking for that back line again. It was picked up last second by Wellner. Grixius from the right side scores again. Yeah, not much, not much the Cardinals could do there. Again, just a nice pass and a great kill again. Good back set, diving yep. attempt by Boyum, but to no avail. And another serve for Valencia. Hag will punch this one over. In the middle of the kill for Alexa Otto. Yeah, again, the return just, just kind of weak right there in the middle of, the, of that net, and, and Otto with uh, just no other opportunity than just to pound it to the floor. Get the point. Valencia skips it off the top. Hag still there to pick it up. She'll attack for the Cardinals. Picked up by Demeng. The attack by Hinzi. Stopped up by Boyum. Jim Rapids sets up for Hag again. This time she's in the net. And it's a 10-1 lead for Maple Grove. Uh, she didn't extend the way she wanted to and put that ball in the net. And you, as you mentioned, 10-1 Maple Grove have jumped off to a quick lead. We'll see how long Coach Arcan goes before he calls time. Boyum can't control that one. A second ace of the service for Haley Valencia. Third for Crimson. Yeah, he's going to call time. And their lead is 10. Yeah, and he's going to call time. He needed to call time here. 11 to 1. They just, you know, basically kind of have to regroup. Talk about some of the things that he's seeing there that uh, their squad could do a little bit better. And, you know, on the, on the other side, Joe, Co Coach Haugen has to be pretty pleased. A nice start for Well, his anytime squad. your team has 11 of the first 12 services in a set, you're, you're pretty happy. You got to like it. And you know what else you like? Being on Facebook. Absolutely. CTN Studios on Facebook. Make sure you, Josh make sure you check Josh Udvig gets out. the first shout, shout out for the first comment on my CTN post. My Yep, I see it. As we follow social media very closely here. I say I put on there specifically comment on on that uh, post, and you get a shout out on Facebook. You nice. have to be my friend, though. Isn't everyone? Wellner will play this one over, picked up by Brixius. She'll attack from the right side as well. She's successful again. Well, and they, the Crimson continue to roll. They do such a nice job of setting up opportunities at the net. You know, they've got a number of girls that uh, that are strong on the kill. And we've seen them set up on both sides and in the middle already here in this first set. Cross court, Hinsey gets the kill. Yeah, Valencia has been on a roll here. She's uh, held service, I believe, for seven points, six points. No, seven, seven points. points. Yep, that's right. Now eight.
out and the missed service by Valencia will stop that long roll and get Coon Rapids a second chance to get to the service line. Carly Britton will handle it. Picked up by Domengi. The attack by Brixius. And ball right back to Maple Grove. Again, it doesn't last very long, and that's what Coon Rapids needs to do is get. They need to go on, obviously, a run of their own and, and do it controlling the serve. Domengi to serve. Boyan able to get there, but Britton can't pick, keep it up, and it's 16-2. So again, they keep that, that serve low, and this, the Cardinals not able to get the return as you mentioned. Wellner had to go to the ground for that one. Hag pushes it over. Picked up by Aspinwall, and the cross-court attack is out for Brixius. Yeah, Brixius trying to go for that far corner. She's pushed it a little bit long. And Jessica Hag will head to the service line. She's in the net, and the service right back to Maple Grove. Sydney Kerr coming in for Maple Grove. She will be doing the serving. Egg from the backcourt. Hinsey down the line, and that'll be a kill. Good attempt by Boyum in the back corner, but unsuccessful. That'll make it 18-3 now in favor of the Crimson. Here is serve off the knuckles of Gonzala. Hag able to save. Played over by Boyum. Ooh, quick attack in the middle on the short set. And the point for Lauren Bright. And, and you, your defense opened up, and, and Bright had a uh, great opportunity to pound it to the floor. Makes it 19 to 3. And again, a short set finished off by Bright. Another timeout by Coon Rapids as uh, the Crimson in control, 20 to three. Definitely rolling. To get three, to get 20 points on your first three services is uh, pretty impressive. impressive. Yeah, it's impressive, and they, you know, they've dominated obviously in every every game and really they've made it look pretty easy so far well and they they are a, a machine right now uh the way that they have moved left right left tough to stop we can't stop us on monday nights at 7 30 live sports night every monday this monday will be no different Well, the first time out was not able to stop the roll for Valencia at the service line. Now trying to ice Sydney Kara a little bit. Gonzala has to just push that one over. Picked up and returned right back to Lauren Bright. And now that she's the one they're getting behind. Now they have a lot, Three they, straight points for her. A lot of weapons here on this uh, Crimson squad. Number of players that can do a number of different things. Gonzalez attack picked up by Demen. Attack down the middle for Hinsey. For the Cardinals. Hinsey did get the kill. Uh, you see it again. And I think that may be the first point won by Coon Rapids and not lost by right. Crimson. Picked up by Valencia. Bright just pushes it over. Head goes to the floor to pick it up. Attacked by Gonzala, and that's the first two-point streak for the Cardinals. A two in a row, and 
Now, again, you, you have to just do it one point at a time, but you got to hold service. Good job there. Getting that point. Boy, and sir, Valencia can't save it. A little miscommunication by the Crimson and an ace for Emily Boyum. Kill for Hintze right in the back line. That was a good, effective swat. She, she couldn't have placed it any better as, is, uh, as there was no opportunity for any Cardinal to get to that ball. And she placed it in that far corner. Hintze takes a little something off, a little change up on the serve. Gonzala attacking, and it's successful again. Makes it 22-7 now. And now we'll have Tia Yost, one of the Cardinal captains at the service line. Right attacking. Yost is there. And Cardinal's unable to keep it in play. Lauren Bright has been effective at the net. We'll see how she is up from the back line. Her serve picked up by Hag. Boyum trying to get it to Gonzalo, who just passes it over, but right into the middle of the defense. And that'll be her third kill. Yeah, that time uh, maybe broke just a little flat-footed. Makes it 23-8. And you see that just uh, right, right in between about three white jerseys. Cardinals able to win a little battle at the net, but this point still playing out. Hag will pass it over this time. The Crimson are picking it up. Valencia, attack and a kill. And it'll be set point. Aspinwall will serve with a chance to close out this first set. They bring Laura Brixius back in. And that one misplayed a little bit by Yost. And that will be set one to the Crimson. They take the first 25 to eight. We take a break. You're watching Girls High School Volleyball on CTN. Pretty much a good day for me would be people leaving their hands off of me. I'm always called names. Um, everywhere that I go, there's always someone um, calling me names, calling me gay. I've been choked, thrown up against the wall, punched. Nobody's ever tried to help me. Everybody has a dream. Mine was to see the ocean. And with a little help, I made it. Every day across America, excess food is gathered by a network of good people at local food banks, giving hope to millions of children who struggle with hunger. They've earned their wings, and you can too. Together, we can solve child hunger. 
Support Feeding America and your local food bank at feedingamerica.org. Back at the Roger E. Carlson Fieldhouse, a 25 to eight win in the first set for Maple Grove, Howie, they controlled it from the very start. They ran off the first five points, and then just after that went on a nine-point streak. And as we talked about, this is a game of streaks. Before you knew it, they had a 20-3 to lead in this one. Yeah, 11 kills and three aces, you know, that's it, pretty impressive in that first game for Maple Grove. Cardinals went on a little bit of a run, a little small run in late in this game, but uh, certainly not enough to, to get back into it. So. Yeah, you know, they know that it's important game two. If they want to stay in this in this match. They know game two is really important here. Well, for the Crimson, you talked about it, you know, early on especially, and you saw him bring some other girls onto the floor midway through that contest, but early on this starting six looked incredibly strong yeah they they really they really did and we'll see again how you know it's important here i think in the second set for for coon rapids to get off to a quick start if they can coach arcand having a little chat with allison yang yep. as she comes onto the floor for the first time to start this second set Coon Rapids will have the first serve and they will start with Hannah Gonzalez at the service line. Mangi picks it up. Brixius in the middle. Gonzalez is there. Cardinal set it up a little too late. As, and that one's gonna fall. Not quite the play they were looking for to start this second set. No, you know, and a nice job digging that uh, that kill off by by Brixius too to, to keep that ball alive, that point alive. <laughs> Mary Peterson serving, Boyum attacking, or Britain rather. You can wrap it as the point. Again, keep it close. <laughs> Sir picked up in the back corner. Brixie is attacking and gets the point right back for Maple Grove. Yeah, right into the uh, in the Cardinals middle and couldn't control that ball. Take a 2 1 lead. Mengi serving. Tag on the attack. And she is successful. Again, you just need a little bit of a spark. You, know, you, you talked about it. You saw Maple Grove jump out to that big lead in, game, in set one. And now Cardinals just uh, keep trying to keep things close here at 2 2. Carly Britton. Serving, Hinsey is there, quick set to Lauren Bright, and she has proven effective off the short set yes, all night. Absolutely. Sydney Kara back in for Brixius as she goes to the back line to serve. Peg attacking, Mangi picks it up. Hinsey with the kill. And off uh, off the Cardinal player, couldn't control that uh, that kill. And Maple Grove will take a 4-2 lead. That one took Yang by surprise with how much it was coming in, and it would be an ace. Yeah, not much she could do to, to control that one. You can see it coming right into Yang. It's a nice serve. Yang just 
couldn't control it. Gonzala dives to save that one. Attack in the middle is blocked by Hinzi and Bright. Garrett serving again, a 6-2 lead now. Yang right off the shoe tops. Hag attacking and gets the kill. Yeah, nice job by Hag. We talked about her earlier in that first set. You know, she's powerful from up front. Hag with a kill. Point. And she will head to the service line. And too much on it. Again, you, just, uh, you give the point right back and service right back. Yang had a little trouble with it again along the back line. Gonzala passes it over. Hinzi, short set to Bright. It's saved by Hag, but the Cardinals let it fall. Yeah, Hag was there to try to dig that one out, but. Nobody able to bring it over for Coon Rapids. Gonzalo right on the side of the court. Played over by Forrest. Valencia attack was blocked. Crimson stepped on the line in Coon Rapids point. Yeah, it's a nice point because it, it'll, it stops that a little bit of service run for Maple Grove. Now, and now certainly the key is to come back and, and try and get a run of your own here. You're just down by four. Ellie Hintze serving for the first time for Coon Rapids, and she puts too much on it. Yeah, last two services for Coon Rapids, both have been long. Right at the service line, Yang picks it up. Hag from middle of the court. Bright plays it right back over. Pushed over and almost catching the Crimson unsuspecting was that little play by Britton. Short set attack by Schweitzer picked up and a good volley going here. Pushed over, got a little help from the net. Gonzalo plays it back over. Valencia will get it back and she will finally end the rally. Did a nice job working the net, getting the nice set to Valencia for the point. Makes it 10-4. Peg can't handle that one. And it's 11-4 advantage for the Crimson. Back by Hag, sent right back over by Bright. And the Cardinals didn't quite play that one right either. No, and they had an opportunity too, just a misplay on that, uh, and that return puts it at 11-4, I'm sorry, 12-4. Hag attacking. He's got power. But it's Schweitzer at the net with a little stuff block to get the point for the Cardinals. Yeah, Schweitzer doing a nice job at the net again. You're going to see it here. Timing her jump perfectly, just taps that little with that one over, gives her team the fifth point of the second set. Ooh, a little help from your friend right there. Antia Yost gets the ace. Off the top of the net and right on the line. Short set with the attack far too hard for Maddie Tharp. Again, that makes it 12-7. You've cut the lead here to five. Yost tried to put a little too much English yeah. on at that time. And Brixius will check back in as Maple Grove has that six point lead. Aspen Wall serve picked up. Gonzala will get the kill for Coon Rapids in a nicely turned point right there. Yeah, she uses the pressure, she pushes it to the back line, and Maple Grove that time. 
Paige Hinsey couldn't control it. 13-8. Brixius attacking and scoring. Did a nice job, Brixius found that little bit of a hole in the defense on the floor for Coon Rapids and put the point home, makes it 14-8. Well, they're back in for the Cardinals. Peterson in for the Griffin. Mary Peterson serving for Maple Grove with that six-point lead, and she gets the ace. Yeah, nice serve by Peterson, just uh, keeps it low to the net. Cardinals defensively can't do anything to get it get it in play. Yang will play that one over. Quick turn to Brixius on the right side and no time to recover for Coon Rapids. First seventh kill of the match. Right, and you've got Brixius on the outside and, and um, Tharp in the middle. A couple of uh, taller players from presenting Coon Rapids with some issues. And another ace for Peterson. And that lead has jumped up to nine points. That one uh, took something off that into the net. 17 now, nine now in favor of the Crimson. Brixius attacking and another kill add to her totals. Yeah, she's uh, she certainly is powerful up front. 18-9 in favor of the Crimson. Point going here, Hag able to win the battle at the net. Nice point for the Cardinals. That time Brixie has just mis misplayed that one. Makes it 18 10. Warren Bright again off the short set. Aspenwell, Aspenwall really. Does a nice job of setting on that front yeah, she, line and, yeah. and distributing to all the different pieces. Well, Bright leads this uh, this squad with kills coming into this and into this match. A little bit too far. That'll double up 2010 now. Favor of the Crimson. Eggs attack picked up near the back and the timing off that time a little bit between Aspinwall and Bright. Ball falls and it's Coon Rapids point. Yeah, smiles all around. They knew that they, they probably had that point had they set that correctly. But, uh, Cardinals will take that 2011 now in favor of the Crimson and Cardinals with the serve. Attack by Hintzy this time Ooh. on the line. Hintzy with a kill. Point. Good call uh, in favor of Cardinals. That one uh, actually was out. and get the point right back. And the serve. I'll make it 21-12 their favor. Bag way too much on at that time. 
Crimson looking to uh, try and close this second set out. Alyssa Peterson serving for the Crimson. Gonzala had to go to the floor to pick that one up. She'll just pass it over. Bright, nice save by Yang. Valencia. Yang again picking it up. Passed over by Hag. This one, Valencia from the left side, and she scores. Again, gets it to that back middle. Cardinals defensively can't get over there and, and get a piece of the ball. That time the serve is in the net for Peterson. Good Rapids trailing by 10. Late in the second set, they already trail the Crimson. One set to zero. Allison Yang serving for the Cardinals. Bright attacking from the right side this time and put some good heat on that right inside the back line. Yeah, again. And it's set point. Again, great placement. Put it, put it exactly where Coon Rapids was not able to get that point. And as you mentioned, one away from capturing set number two. Pushed over, picked up by Valencia. Quick set in the middle. The attack by Tharp is picked up, passed back over by Yang. This time Valencia. And this one is not coming back. Crimson seal the second set 25 13 and go up two sets to zero. We'll take a break and be back with the third set. You're watching Girls High School Volleyball on CTF. Look at mommy. Maybe the light hurts his eyes. Maybe she's just not hungry. Maybe he can't hear us. Ooh. Maybe we're not stimulating him enough. Maybe to phase. Avoiding eye contact is one early sign of autism. Learn the others today. The sooner it's diagnosed, the better. So I just moved in with his family, and it's embarrassing. The little one, he likes to go outside and crawl around in the giant litter box. I don't know what he's doing. I mean, I was born, and I knew how to use the litter box. Look at that. That's disgusting. Oh, poop already. You're making me nervous. Oh, okay, I can't look at this anymore. I really hope he grows out of this for his sake. Know what? What? Since I got adopted, I've learned a lot about these humans. Uh, I know. I mean, check out these two. It's Flirt City over here. Yeah, I noticed that. It looks like my human is definitely into your human. Oh, look! I think she's getting his number. Nice. Your human's got some sweet moves. Takes after his dog. <laughs> oh, look, they're doing that thing where they put their arms around each other. She kicked up a leg. It's like in the movies. That's awesome. Looks like we're going to be hanging out a little bit more. Back at Roger e. Carlson Fieldhouse, the Crimson with a 25-13 win in set number two. Not quite as dominant as they were in the first, but still cruising right now against the Cardinals. They are, you know, I think Coach Arcan has to be, you know, pleased a little bit with that second uh, set, a little better effort, uh, a little kept, kept a little closer, a little more competitive in, in set number two. 
There you can see this time uh, 11 kills and four aces versus 11 and three in that first set by Maple Grove. They, uh, they're they very dominant, very good volleyball s squad. And Coon Rapids, as we talked about, they're young, they're learning, and, then, and these are things they hope to continue to, to learn and store as the season goes on. Well, and again, you know, able to, able to get a few more uh, points off their own service, and that is important, obviously crucial in volleyball. Absol absolutely. And against a, a very good team like Maple Grove, those points don't always come easy. No, they don't, and you know, and, and Cardinals uh, went on a little bit of a, of a run in that in set number two, but these are the kind of things that uh, Coach Arcan is looking for his, from his squad. You know, the ability to to go on a run and and to try and learn and and grow as uh, as you continue and. Well, Crimson will start in exactly the same rotation they did in set one with Aspinwall serving. And uh, we remember how that first set went for the Crimson yep. to start. Yep, on that on that side of the court, they, uh, they started off strong and didn't look back. Boone Rapids gonna try and avoid that same outcome here in set three. Otto attacking in the middle, but it's wide. And the Cardinals have their first lead of the evening. Yep, the, their time a good a good set, but Coon, uh, Maple Grove, I should say, just uh, they tried to set for that far corner, but just too much. Allison Yang plays it over. Demangi didn't quite get the serve or pass she wanted. Attack by Valencia is picked up. Hag attacking. And she's out. Well, Yang, one of the one of the two freshmen that get a fair amount of playing time for the Coon Rapids squad. And now Valencia to serve. Guards able to get it back over. Brixie is attacking and. There was a touch yep. on the Cardinal side, and, so and Brixius will get the kill. I think that ball was still in, regardless of the touch. <laughs> well, misplay near the net by the Cardinals. Well, and Valencia was serving in that in that first set that when they went on that really long run. Yeah, she took over at 6-1 and left at 14-2. It's a nice run. Yang with a good pass. Britton gets it across. Hag's pass finds the floor. Hey, yeah, just nice job. Just got enough on it to find this, the hole in the floor. Coon Rapids again, what they want to do is keep it close. You see they're just, nobody able to get to that ball from Maple Grove before it hit the floor. Attacking down the line, but out of play is Paige Hinsley. Britain serves. Passed over by Brixius. Cardinals get it for Hag. Domengi is there. On the net. I think they touch. Yeah. And it's tied up at yeah, four it is, it is tied at four all. And this is exactly what the doctor ordered for Coon Rapids. You know, early on, just don't, don't let Maple Grove get out to that big lead again. Hinsey attacking, blocked. And the Cardinals with his stuff. Billy <laughs> Hinsey and Kaylee Porish getting up to deny the attack yeah, by Hinsey. Uh, uh, Kaylee Porish did a nice job. She has uh, she she's the one that got it. 
And no surprise, Porsche just a sophomore. Yep. She played as a starter at times during the uh, basketball yep. season last year as a freshman. Back in the middle, nice save on the floor. Brixius' attack is picked up. Hag fires back. And is set it across to Hinsey again, and this time she gets it through the defense. That was a nice point by, by both teams. Coon Raps did a nice job of keeping that point alive. They're Crimson tied at five. Again. Crimson again only trailed for one point. Yep. But the Cardinals have led well, twice in this third set. I was going to say, set. the way the first two sets went, that's uh, that's good improvement for Coon Rapids. Hag attacking. Domengue's got it. Set up for Hinsey again, and she'll get another kill. Well, Crimson regained the lead now, 6-5. Hag didn't quite get the angle she wanted on that. This time to jump a little bit for Ellie Hinsey. Well, we'll see what kind of run Maple Grove can go on here. Well, and again, not winning the last couple nope. points. Just the Cardinal misplays and cost the right plays it over. Peg attacking. Good save by Valencia. Set up to Hintzy and she gets the kill. Yeah, it was a nice, nice kill by Hintzy. A lot of, lot of authority on that Hintzy's kill. Hintzy's attacking from both sides of yep. the net. How often can you say that? Exactly. But not at the same time. Ellie Hintzy for Coon Rapids. Paige Hintzy for Maple Grove. Hag pushes it over. Nice save by Aspinwall. Tipped over by Hintzy. Porish carried it. Yeah. Oh, Tried get... to catch him off guard a little bit and then said she scooped. Well, again, and then Maple Grove winning another point that they didn't earn. Hag will finally put an end to that streak. Yeah, and a nice set. A nice set for Hag to get that point. Her first kill of this fifth set, or third set. Now watch the set here, and then just a great job of going to that far side. Peg serving, able to get it off the top. That's her first service that she's been able to put in play. Hinsey's attack picked up easily by Yang. Britton is stuffed by Bright. A Bright did a and nice. Trips and take the ball right back. Nice job of timing her jump. Makes it 11 6. Kara gives it right back on the play into the net. Yeah, the Cardinals definitely will take that one. Crimson had, hadn't made a ton of mistakes here this evening. Boy and serve, picked up, set to Hinsey, and she'll add to her total. Yund officially with seven kills this evening. And officially, of course. Oh, of course. I think the Cardinals may have gone away with four touches. Yeah. There. And played right back in. Short set, right finds the middle of the floor. And again, Maple Curry. Grove doing a good job of just setting. setting. They're doing a nice job of setting either in the middle or to the outside, but here just to set in the middle. And the kill for the Crimson. Eggs pass, and back to the floor by Bright.
Britton again stopped at the net by Bright. And the Cardinals are going to call a timeout here. They want to talk about things trailing now 15 to 7 in this uh, third set. Down 2 0. Trying to keep their hopes alive here in set number three. Well, Howie, this is going on live around the globe. Yes. On YouTube. YouTube.com slash CTN Studios. Another shout out to my friends Miles and Stephanie Larson who commented on the Facebook posting. Uh, inviting me to a uh, different volleyball event to do some commentating. Well, you ought to go. I, will, I don't know if I will take them up on that or not. You ought to go. But You're perhaps, in demand. Per, but perhaps some spectating. So love to hear that people are out there watching. All over the globe. We got a new, uh, we got a new uh, viewer from Brussels today. From yeah. So that's, uh, that's always exciting. So it is Peterson serving with a 15-7 lead for Maple Grove. And she's gonna pick up yep. an ace, her third of the match. Had two in the second set. Well, after Coon Rapids gave Maple Grove a little bit of trouble here early in this third set, they're doing a nice job of, uh, of moving the score. Boyam able to handle that one. Hag attacks into the net. That'll make it 17-7. Ellie Hintzy. Check back in and was immediately replaced by Allison <laughs> Yank. And that service oh. into the net for Peterson, so. For the third result in a point. Cardinals will take it. They will. 17-8. Just passed over by Aspinwall. Britton, a left-handed attempt. Won't connect, she's stopped up by Bright. Again, it doesn't keep, uh, keep the serve in their favor very long. Just Bright the one with three point. blocks in this third set. Yeah, you, you have to be pretty impressed with, uh, with the number of players on the squad for Maple Grove. Britton plays it over, nice save by Bright. Peterson plays it into the net. Dog did a nice job again keeping that, that service low, making Maple Grove have a difficult opportunity to return it. You see two Crimson players going after it. Another and back one. Back to back aces for Hannah Gonzala. Nate doing his best to get the crowd in, get, into this one. Absolutely. Getting them revved up. Oh, see, I could have tagged Nate Chapman to that post as well. You still can. I could. Not much match left, unfortunately, for the Cardinals, unless they are able to pull off a dramatic comeback. This attack finds the floor for Shea. Did you get a pronouncer on that pronunciation on that name? Matias? Matias. We're going to go with that. Pass finds the floor. A nice diving attempt by Peterson. Now the Cardinals just trying to cut into this lead. Down to seven. They're just a nice job. Crimson not able to get it over to that. 
Brixia couldn't quite get there. As she mistimed what she wanted to do. Cuts it to six. What? A tough one there. Just a little bit of a run for Coon Rapids and gives up that service point. Makes it 20 13. Valencia checks back in. She'll take the ball to the service line. Her team five points away from a three set sweep. Peg attacks. Good save. But Maple Grove stepped underneath. They may have saved that one, but. Yeah, there you see, there you see the step over the line. Carly Britton. Short set, and Alexa Otto gets the kill. And just like back, just like that, Maple Grove gets service back. Rixie is attacking the Cardinals. Are able to play it back over. Rixie is again. This time not she will one. not be denied. She's into double digits kills this evening. That would have been a big point if the, the Cardinals could have received it. 22-14. Uh, now the Cardinals stepped yeah. over. Serving just two points away from a three set sweep. Taryn Olson checks in. Oddly enough, I have a friend whose daughter's name is Taryn Olson. And Brixius gets the point at the net. Not the same one, I take it. No, but spelled the same way. Oddly enough. So, with that, a, a shout out to Toby and Don. There you go. Kinsey saves it at the net, and this one's in the record books, 25-14. The win in set three for Maple Grove. Again, a little stronger effort, I think, in, in game in set three for Coon Rapids than even in set two. But, uh, you know, Maple Grove, a good squad. Gets this one uh, in three and moves their record to six and one. Yeah, they were... Pretty much in control start to finish. Yep. They started this one with a 14 to one lead in the first set. They never never trailed in the second. Coon Rapids able to keep with them early on in set three, but uh, unable to seriously threaten more than midway through. Yeah, then now that'll, uh, that'll drop their record to one and nine as they look to continue on. I believe their next contest is uh, against Thursday. As we talked at about Elk at River. Elk River, I wasn't sure if it was here or there. Nope. At Elk River. Yep. And one home, one away this week, and it's a tough week of schedule for the Cardinal volleyball team. Well, Elk River at 0 4 in the conference and 2 and 4 overall, so maybe an opportunity for Coon Rapids. Uh, you know, they talked about Coach Arcan talked about it. Elk River's middle are very, very difficult and will give them some, some issues, but an opportunity maybe if they can go on the road and get a victory. Well, we will not be going on the road. No. Yes, we yeah, will. Yeah, we will. We will be on the road on Friday. We'll be in Blaine. At Blaine. Cardinals, the guests for the Bengals' homecoming game, and that's a good rivalry. Cardinals 0-3. Bengals, though, not off to the best starts in their history. Nope. Oh. And that'll be live at 7 o'clock on Friday. And then we see the swimming and diving team taking on Andover on Tuesday the 23rd. That's at 6 o'clock, live from North Hill Middle School Pool. And then homecoming for the Cardinals as they host the Park Center Pirates on Friday the 26th. That one also live at 7 p.m. But that's going to do it for this edition of CTN Sports. Again, the final score, it's Maple Grove in three. 
beating Coon Rapids 25-8, 25-13, and 25-14. Want to thank everybody out for joining us to continue to support everything we do here at CTN. For the entire crew, it's been a Burlingame production. With Howie Shapiro, I'm Joe Young, saying goodnight.